Sometimes, peeling back the layers of a situation feels like unwrapping a mystery, doesn't it? Can you recall a time when the more you uncovered, the more challenges you ended up discovering? In our last episode, we battled the breeze and its unpredictable temperament as we left Professor Marina to join in on some haul-out fun this winter. We headed right across the bay to Actio, Ionian and Cleopatra Marina's shipyards to get Trinity lifted out of the water for the first time under our ownership. Although a few factors made for an awkward entrance, we came ashore safely in the end and so did our beautiful girl. Don't forget to like like and subscribe if you haven't already. Your support helps us greatly and means the entire world to the Trinity crew. And for those returning viewers, we can't thank you enough for joining us once again. Drop us a comment below and let us know how you're doing. We love to hear from you guys. With Trinity on the hard and her crew checked into some neighboring accommodation, it's time to get into what we came here for. This episode, we acquaint ourselves with the marina and its surroundings, engaging with some local skills and ancient beauty along the way. We then link up with our survey they are Juno expert Steve and that our predicted four-day stay may be insisted upon extending. Join us this week as we explore new territory both on land and within ourselves as we truly resonate with the saying, in for a penny, in for a pound. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. The shipyard is our home for the next couple of days. But that's okay. So there's gotta be a map somewhere. I, I reckon the shop and the restaurant's just over in that little vicinity over there. Oh, we'll just follow it out here, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, she's over there, she's in the yard. Hello, little kittens. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. There's a mini market and a bakery, restaurant. Oh, look, you're quite close to the rocks and stuff, so you'll probably be able to get some fish in there. This afternoon, we went for a walk to acquaint ourselves with the marina and its surroundings. Along the way, we encountered a seasoned fisherman with a killer setup. His enthusiasm was contagious as he shared stories and proudly displayed his recent catch. Everyone here is always so friendly. Inspired by the fisherman's spirit, we followed a trail of unintentionally aesthetic rainbow fishing lines, leading us unexpectedly to a site of ancient beauty. a walk way through it. It's closed at the minute to try and find out what that's all about. It's pretty. Let's look it up and see what it says it is. Ah, oh, here we go. This is something. Actio Fortress, situated near Provesa, Greece, is a historical marvel with a rich past. Originally built in the 13th century by the despot of Epirus, Michael II, it served as a strategic defense point against invaders. In 31 BC, this fortress witnessed a pivotal moment in history, the Battle of Actio, also known as the Battle of Actium. The forces of Octavian, later known as Emperor Augustus, clashed with those of Mark Antony and Cleopatra in a naval confrontation. This battle marked the end of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. The fortress has undergone various transformations over the century, adapting to several different military needs. The Venetians, Ottomans, and other powers played significant roles in its modifications. Today, Actio Fortress stands as a testament to the region's historical significance. Its walls echo tales of ancient battles and changing civilizations, making it a must-visit for history enthusiasts. After familiarizing ourselves with our surroundings for the next few days, it was time to check up on Trinity ourselves. We have our surveyor Steve coming out tomorrow morning to run some diagnostics and to give us a more comprehensive rundown on Trinity. But for now, we thought we'd pay her a visit ourselves to see if we could discern any issues visible to the less trained eye. This is what she looks like out of the water. But Rusty is going to have some new anti fouling put on it. You're looking a bit small under there, Captain. <laughs> yeah. Barnacles crawl on the inside of them. Definitely a bit of paint came off today. <laughs> Needs a bit of WD 40. Seals are not good, Jason. That's what she said, a few repairs on the board. 
Well, we're not the first crew. That didn't really come off. Look at that. From the air conditioning. You look at clean all this here. They were all replaced. Peacocks on the inside definitely don't look like it. So what's this? That's the bell thruster. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a clean as well. Here's another little logo. There we go. <laughs> Loads of them. Yeah. Well, look at this. They're all, they've all had the bottom seasons. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. The keel. Keel has a lot of layers on it. Yeah. Just ready to away, look. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Whoa! <laughs> Filthy girl! All the blue dye or paint, paint rather, came off when they were power washing her down, so the socks are grim. <laughs> Glamour, glamour. How are you going, chef? Good. We're doing well. Oh, we're doing good. Our first full day in the dockyard, perhaps less glamorous than our usual, has been eye-opening nonetheless. It's been great to finally see all of Trinity. We headed to bed in hopeful spirits that the entirely knowledgeable and extremely qualified Steve, who has intimate and expert knowledge on Janos, will be able to assist us in discovering all the issues above and below our dear girl Trinity to prepare for our 2024 season as best as we possibly can. So we just spoke to some people this morning and they said that we need quite a lot of work done on the bottom of the boat. It's been a long time since there's been any anti-fouling done on it. Yeah, it's just another kick in the teeth to be honest. Steve, who's doing our survey, he'll have the paperwork for us in a couple of days and we'll have it all done, which is good. For context, we purchased Trinity secondhand. The previous seller assured us that certain upgrades and repairs had occurred before our purchase. Unfortunately, based on expert opinion and personal experience with the vessel, we're unsure of the integrity of such assurance. As many issues and equipment have presented themselves, we've invited Steve, a highly recommended and experienced marine surveyor, to resurvey Trinity. Coming up, Steve details issues found with our propeller, seacocks, and keel while also performing a brief hull integrity check as we discuss Trinity's condition. Follow along. So this is Steve, our surveyor. Well, normally it stops it when you do this, but if you watch... Yeah. I wonder if there's something actually stuck in it. Only you always pour, you always pour soaking water, normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry on doing it. Right, yeah. But there it is. You're going to have to get a work order from me. I said, look, I'll talk to the surveyor. Um, See what he says, and then we go together in a work order. You see that little feathering of fiberglass in there as well. So I look around and just looking for a penny and for a pound at this point. And also the sea pots. Oh, um, the skin things are pink. Yeah. And when they're pink, oh, I mean, you've got like some sort of uh, electrolysis oh, issue. Yeah. You have them, you have them, you your fridge on. The fridge is on. Yeah, yeah so turn that off because that's red hot. Right, don't, don't <laughs> oh girl, do you need me to hold it? I need to hold it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Going a little pink, break through the pink and you get back to bronze. So, but this is normal. That's the one guy was gone, it looks like something's been done here. No, no. But the guys, the mechanic said, nah, he said, that's no. something you do every couple of years. It's, 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 yeah. it's cosmetic. They're going to clean up the prop and everything. So you only got this hand over here. If you look, it's not actually really done anything, has it? Did you ever, you haven't touched this? Because that, that should really be, not that colour, it should be, you know, wasted away. Yeah. For some reason, it's not, it's, it's not doing anything. So if, if it was me and it was my boat, I'd put an anode on it. Which they probably didn't do because it's just small money. Some of these new ones don't have anodes, but you might have to put an anode on there. Bonded to the stern gear and bonded to the seat cock. I'll, I'll investigate that. These are all supposed to be replaced last year, they're not only a year old. Not last year, possibly. Let's go pink like that, thank you. The, the skin things, I'm convinced, are original. See the, you see the pink, then... That's what the um, plumber was saying. 
but the, the Seacocks in the all suite thing is into a place then, as if they're going pink. I think the advisor, the, the best thing to do within the budget is replace them all. And then get, and get the guy who puts them in to properly bond them so this doesn't happen again. As soon as yours, if the paint comes off and you've got the, the actual iron showing, yeah. then it's bond and run it. There's no structural damage because of the rust. No, the guy, the guy said to me this morning, he said, man, a, this is a massive job, sandblast, that's the like well, sandblast. Well, well. And he says, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be here for the winter. Since you only came out yesterday. Yeah. What about where we were seeing the uh, salt water sort of around here? No, I had, a good look, I had a good look at the keel last night. Oh, I, yeah. I scraped these areas. Oh, yeah. Just you, then you'll get an indication if there's been a ground. These areas I did last night are all, oh, fine. Are all good. What's this called again? This whole, this whole thing? Well, they call it a P bracket. Yeah. Well, that'll, that'll clean up like shiny new. You know, there's not, there's no, no gravity holes here. Right? But we do have a concern that the anode isn't doing its duty, right? You get, you get all this. It's not a new scraper, look. It's not pink. Okay. With some significant cosmetic issues found and detailed both by Steve and by the experienced technicians at the shipyard, we're due to stay here for a lot longer than our originally predicted four days. Although elements of the situation are burdensome and disheartening, we're more so grateful to now be aware and as informed as possible about the condition of our vessel and the trajectory in which we are going to go to to repair and prepare her. As we will be here for another few weeks, we decided to explore further up the beach and to enjoy some family time with lovely scenery to remind ourselves of what really matters when faced with feelings of loss and burden. Now he's gonna come out and splash all over us. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gave this dog some scraps and he's following us now. He's he wants he's us to funny. play. We've named him Rusty. <laughs> he's not quite rusty, he's a bit more of a golden he colour to be honest. Are they going? They are the Along the shores of Greece, fishing is a laid-back tradition, with locals setting up multiple rods along the coast. This common practice offers a peaceful connection with nature, creating a very serene atmosphere. The fresh catch often finds its way to nearby restaurants and tavernas, allowing visitors and locals alike to savour the flavours of the sea in a relaxed coastal setting. This afternoon, we stumbled upon some beautiful scenery, with plenty of people out sailing. And although it's not the best time of year, Greece offers up many tepid days, even out of the market sailing season, another considerable benefit of choosing to live out our liveaboard lifestyle in and around Greece. Lovely coming in there and the sun behind them. Very nice. There we have it guys, with survey and diagnostics done, our 2024 season prep has finally begun. Although we were only expecting a few minor jobs to be done, it looks like we'll be spending the better part of a month here getting upgrades and repairs done to our beautiful girl Trinity. Join us next week as Martin and Sharon get into the nitty gritty of some long awaited boat work. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there guys! Oh.